Did you know that all members of The Rock's Pirates made an appearance in Thriller Bark? In this video, we'll delve deep into each member of the notorious Rock's Pirates. Let's start with Rox D. Zebek. Though little is known about Rox's specific abilities, his reputation as a leader of immensely powerful pirates precedes him. His crew was a terrifying force on the seas, and after The Rock's Pirates disbanded, many of its members went on to achieve legendary status. Even years after his death, Rox is remembered as one of the most formidable adversaries of the Pirate King, perhaps even more so than Whitebeard himself. His threat was so significant that it took the combined efforts of Roger and Garp to finally defeat him. Notably, Kaido even considers Rox among the few figures worthy of challenging him, underscoring Zebek's immense power. As for his weapon of choice, Rox wielded a sword during his final confrontation with Roger and Garp at the historic Battle of God Valley. Next up is Edward Newgate, known to the world as Whitebeard, a legendary member of the Rock's Pirates. He participated in the God Valley Incident, although it's unclear when he joined the crew. After their disbandment, Whitebeard formed his own crew, the Whitebeard Pirates, and became one of the Yonko. In his prime, Whitebeard was feared as the strongest man in the world and capable of matching Gull D. Roger himself. His bounty was the second highest in recorded history, surpassing 5 billion berries. Despite his age and declining health during the Marineford War, Whitebeard displayed monstrous physical abilities. He fought admirals Aokiji, Kizaru, and Akainu on equal footing. His Gura Gura no Mi allowed him to generate earthquakes, creating shockwaves powerful enough to devastate landscapes and clash with Akainu's magma attacks. This this power earned him the reputation of having the potential to destroy the world. Whitebeard also possessed all three types of hockey, including Supreme King hockey, which he infused into his attacks for devastating effects. Now, let's talk about Charlotte Linlin, better known as Big Mom. She began her pirate journey after the events in Elbaf, but joined the notorious Rocks Pirates at the age of 24. Linlin played a significant role in the God Valley incident, and following the defeat of the Rocks Pirates, she swiftly returned to establish her own crew, the Big Mom Pirates. Pirates. As one of the four emperors, Big Mom is considered one of the most powerful pirates in the world. Her influence spans far and wide, acknowledged even by high-ranking figures like the Five Elder Stars. She is one of the few capable of standing up to Blackbeard and even Kaido. From a young age, Linlin exhibited extraordinary strength. As an adult, her power allowed her to destroy towns, sink battleships, and engage in a two-day clash with Kaido without sustaining injuries. With the Soru Soru no Mi, a Paramecia-type devil fruit, she can manipulate so Souls and create loyal homies. Remarkably, Big Mom is among the few individuals who can wield all three forms of hockey. Kaido. Kaido joined the Rocks Pirates at just 15 years old, sailing with them until the infamous battle at God Valley. Now recognized as one of the four emperors, Kaido earned the title of the strongest creature. Even powerful enemies like the Nine Red Scabbards could barely inflict harm on him. His physical capabilities are extraordinary. With a single swing of his kanabo, he can send opponents flying. His devil fruit allows him to transform into a massive azure dragon, further showcasing his might. Kaido is proficient in all three types of hockey, demonstrating mastery over Supreme King Hockey and Armament Hockey, allowing him to damage even Luffy's hardened forms. His Observation Hockey even lets him see briefly into the future, aiding him in dodging powerful attacks. Golden Lion Shiki Shiki made his first appearance in the manga in Chapter 1096 as a member of the Rocks Pirates, having joined the crew 40 years ago and participated in the God Valley Incident. During Roger's era, Shiki stood as one of the most powerful pirates alongside legends like Sengoku, Garp, Whitebeard, and Roger himself. Even in his old age, he remained a powerful figure. His devil fruit gave him the power to levitate himself and manipulate non-living objects, allowing him to control large marine vessels and even islands. Shiki wields two double-edged swords, Oto and Kogarashi, using them effectively in combat. Next is Captain John, a character we encountered early on as the drunkard zombie in the Thriller Bark arc. He was indeed a member of the Rocks Pirates, participating in the God Valley incident, although the exact timing of his involvement is unclear. John was notorious for his obsession with treasure, which he referred to as prizes. After the Rocks Pirates disbanded, he formed his own crew, but met a tragic end due to a mutiny driven by his terrible personality. Eventually, he was revived as a zombie by Dr. Hogback, appearing in Thriller Bark with some intriguing abilities. It seems we're on the verge of learning more about John's character and the hidden treasure he left behind. Now let's talk about Stussy, 
Stussy was a member of the Rocks Pirates around 40 years ago. Approximately 38 years ago, she and her crew arrived at God Valley for an unspecified goal. Although we haven't seen her fight yet, her survival as a member of the Rocks Pirates suggests she was quite strong. The group known as Mads successfully cloned her, creating Stussy, who now operates as a member of CP0. The clone learned the superhuman fighting style of Rokushiki, indicating that she possesses similar physical power and skills as the original Bucken in her prime. As a former Mads member, Bucken implied to have scientific skills and knowledge, likely accessing her fellow members' research. Gloriosa Gloriosa, a former empress of the Kuja tribe, joined the Rock's pirates after leaving Amazon Lily in search of love. She participated in the God Valley incident alongside her crewmates 38 years ago. Even in her advanced age, she showcased remarkable resilience, surviving falls and showcasing impressive strength, solidifying her status as a surviving member of the legendary Rocks Pirates. Stroysen Stroysen teamed up with Big Mom when she was just six years old, eventually becoming a member of the Rocks Pirates alongside Charlotte Linlin. He played a significant role in shaping Linlin into the infamous pirate she is today. Stroysen wields a cutlass and possesses a unique devil fruit power, allowing him to transform objects into food. While the food provides nourishment, it's often noted to be unappetizing according to Big Mom. He can also transform falling objects into edible items. After the disbandment of the Rock's pirates, he remained with Big Mom, rising to the position of her right-hand man. Next up is Ochoku. Following the God Valley incident, the crew disbanded and Ochoku became the boss of Hachinosu. During the Rocky Port incident, Ochoku demonstrated impressive power by fighting against Blackbeard. What's particularly intriguing is that Blackbeard himself admitted he needed Kobe's help to defeat Ochoku. Next, we have Silver Axe. While his exact power level remains a mystery, there are strong indications of his strength. In Chapter 452, we spot a figure in silver armor wielding an axe, which many fans believe to be him. Now, let's talk about the mysterious Clawman. Clawman was one of the zombie generals seen in Thriller Bark, appearing alongside Captain John. His true strength is still unknown, but his unique weaponry raises curiosity about his fighting style and background. Forearms. Let's call this guy Forearms. He's got four arms and loves his pistols. He was a zombie general on Thriller Bark. We don't know how strong he is, but maybe he was a sharpshooter in the Rock's Pirates. Long Bearded. Now let's discuss the long-bearded figure revealed among the zombie generals. Many fans speculated that this character could be Ochoku, but this assumption is incorrect. At the time of Thriller Bark, Ochoku was still alive and serving as a boss in Hachinosu. The true strength of this long-bearded character remains a mystery, but we know he was involved in the God Valley incident. Mr. Mystery We only catch a glimpse of him during the God Valley incident, with his face obscured by Prometheus. Some people think he might be one of the zombie generals. There was a zombie general on Thriller Bark who looked a lot like him, with armor and a long neck. Two enigmatic characters Finally, we have two enigmatic characters who were present at Thriller Bark and involved in the God Valley incident. One was seen wielding a sword, while the other bore a striking resemblance to Seagull's guns Nazdon. Their abilities remain shrouded in mystery, making it challenging to provide further details. This lack of information only adds to the intrigue surrounding the Rocks Pirates and their legacy.